classic episode of Almost Live first aired March 23rd, 1991. Locker room. What the hell are you doing? You can't bring that in here. Will not Don't be seen be tonight. In order to bring you the following episode of Almost Live. Our speed laws aren't working. Support initiative 454 to raise the Ballard speed limit. Yeah, it's getting real bad. It takes almost half an hour now to get down to the poop deck tavern. Something's got to be done. Vote yes on 454. Raise the Ballard speed limit from 7 to 12 miles per hour. Paid for by the committee to go faster in Ballard. Kirsten, Karsten, Thorsten, Jarton, and Carl. It's almost live with Tracy Conway, Bob Nelson, Bill Nye, Bill Stanton. Steve Wilson and Ed Wyatt and starring John Keister and coming up tonight Speedwalker okay hold it down also tonight Uncle Fran hold it down folks and the John Report okay hold it down and of course I'm your announcer Okay, hold it down. And now, here he is. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, well. You know, it's a really important week. We've got that big election coming up. You know about that, right? And some important initiatives. The eyes of the country are going to be on Washington to see if the death with dignity initiative passes. Now, you see, that'll make us the first state where it'll be legal for a doctor to prescribe a lethal dose of medicine, which I think will make for some real interesting conversations at the pharmacy counter. Don't you, don't you think? You know, okay, Mr. Johnson, take 20 of these every 10 minutes for an hour. And I'd like you to pay in advance, please. In cash. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute, this isn't yours. I must have given that to the other Mr. Johnson. Ooh, whoops, woo, woo. Yeah, oh, I know, right. Well, another cause for great excitement, the weekly's annual Best of Seattle issue is out this week, and once again, the ego of publisher David Brewster is just appalling. You can see he, he put his picture on the cover. Do you see this? Isn't that just it's appalling? I mean, it's just, just awful, you know? But thank God we can now find out what the best latte in Seattle is. What could it be? The best breakfast? Where could it be? The best freeway on-ramp? Who could care? It's all in here. Actually, you know that we're mentioned, Almost Live is mentioned in here, although in a rather surprising category. Uh, the best place for a romantic tryst is in there. The audience at Almost Live. That actually says it in there. Oh, yeah, I know, yeah. Well, actually, it's hard for me to see past these lights here, but I've always assumed that those grunts and groans that I hear were directed at Bill Nye, the science guy, you know, but... I don't know, but I, I've got to hand it to you. That's very resourceful, guys. Give yourself a hand, or at least... You know, or, or whatever. Or someone else's hand. Oh, boy. Yeah, well... Yeah. I'm guessing we're going to get a lot of ticket requests. I'm just guessing, you know, the hottest place, hottest place in town, I've got to tell you, the almost live audience. It's happening every week, you know. But, you know, once again, once again, I've got to say the weekly missed a lot of categories in their best of list, so I thought we'd set the record straight. For example, best nickname for a local athlete, that's Jeff G. What a lousy quarterback, Kemp. <laughs> the best reason to vote yes on Initiative 119, Death with Dignity, is Emmett Watson. See, they got that one. They got that one. No, 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 no. It's a, the best place to find a free meal. Wayne Cody's beard. You see, they missed that one. They missed that one, too. They missed it. Best place to propose for women? That would be Bill Gates' house, obviously. <laughs> the best place. Now, for men, Bill Gates' house also. 
I mean, come on, guys. We're talking five billion here. You know, be flexible. You know, so I can say. Okay, best local restaurant named for Ted Kennedy. Well, that's the keg. All right. <laughs> best highway improvement. Now, this was a tie. The Diamond Lanes on I-5 South and the Sonics trading Dale Ellis. That was a tie. <laughs> and finally... Oh, yes. Yeah. Obviously, a popular choice here. A very good improvement. And finally, the best tattoo. Well, actually, that's the tiger on Monica Hart's butt. So that's the very best. The best of stuff that they didn't have, that we have, that they didn't. And, you know, the Weekly also didn't have a category for best physically fit crime fighter. But if they did, I'm sure this guy would have won. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by for Speedwalker. Jeff Bimmel, reporter for The Daily Dealer. Today's story, Seattle's scenic waterfront. Just what do people do here? Hey, lotto numbers! I better check my ticket. Seven. Sixteen. Seventeen. Twenty-three. Hey, what? Hey, 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 hey! That, that guy took my ticket! That guy there, he took my lottery ticket! Somebody help me! Help me, please! This was a good job, boy! and chips are an excellent source of carbohydrates. that that troublemaker took. Thanks, Speedwalker. 23, 27.
Remember, citizens, the lottery is risky, but win or lose, never litter. Okay, we've got a great show, and we'll be right back. Stay with us. The Futon Factory Outlet presents Johnny Futon, saving the Northwest from ridiculously high prices. Great price, huh, kids? Just look and compare. At Futon Factory, you can save over $230 on futon frames that equal or exceed our competitors. And right now, we're slashing prices even further during our customer appreciation sale. We'll take an additional $50 off any hardwood frame and futon. Futon Factory Outlet, three stores in the Seattle area to serve you. Tell them Johnny sent you. What do you see when you see this word? Do you see the disabled as unable? Disabled may mean different than before, but it needn't mean less than before. We offer insurance that helps those who become disabled remain productive, retain their self-esteem, be different, but not less. Unum. We see farther. If you're considering natural hair restoration, remember, Bosley Medical Doctors have performed over 100,000 hair restoration procedures, more than any other group in the world. Some of these transplants are 19, 20 years old, and they're growing just as strong today as they did in the beginning. I will never have a hairline any higher than, than what you see now, ever. And that, that feels pretty good. All I would have left up here, right now, without the transplants, would be light hairs. Everything else is transplanted. We've developed these new ultra-fine micro-technologies. That means we can do up to 1,000 or 1,200 micrographs at a time. This makes a much more natural and unobtrusive appearance with our final result. Simply call the number on your screen for your free information and schedule your free private consultation. Find out for yourself how these remarkable procedures can give you a new head of hair and a whole new outlook on life. Yes, on initiative 401k and preserve Mercer Island. 401k eliminates domestic automobiles except for Wagoneers and Suburbans. It makes it illegal to serve Chenin Blanc with prime rib, and it builds a giant screen on the south end of the island so no one has to look at Renton. Yes, on 401k, now more than ever. Hey, kids. It's time once again for Uncle Fran's musical forest. Hi kids, I'm Uncle Fran. I'm a little ticked off. Sometimes I get mad, but I will always be your friend. Hi kids, and welcome to Uncle Fran's musical forest. Today we're going to talk about women and just what makes them squash men like little bugs on their windshields as they drive down the highway of life. You know, Freud once asked, what do women want? Well, I know what this one woman wants, namely my house, my money, my prized beer can collection. Do you know the word gold digger? Now here's a little song I call Good Riddance to Bad Trash. Ready? <laughs> Girls are made of sugar and spice. So how come when they grow up, they turn into bitches on wheels? <laughs> Bitches on wheels, bitches on wheels, bitches on wheels, bitches on wheels. Say, what's the matter, Mr. Raccoon Man? I, I don't feel too good. Well, how about if I sing a little song especially for you? Oh, I think I'd really rather just No, I think down. you're really going to like this. Fran, I, I can barely stand up. If I don't get to a bed soon, I'm going to think... Come on, be a man for once! Oh, wow, wow. Now, kid, sing along if you know the words to this tune. <laughs> Let me tell you a story about Mr. Raccoon Man. Who's really a 36-year-old guy who still lives with his mother and he has bad skin and he works part-time 
And he's never been with a woman in the biblical sense of the word. Gee, I hope I'm not giving away any secrets here. Never, 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 never been with a woman. Well, that's about all we have time for this week, kids. So long, kids, from a so friend. I'm a little ticked off. Sometimes I get mad. But I will always be your friend. So long. The Kent Hunting and Fishing Guild is asking for your vote November 5th. Let's roll back the price of a Schmidt Sport Pack. These quick marts and stopping shops are charging way too much for a half rack, and we've got to set it right. Let's bring the price back to about $350. That's a fair price for everybody. Thank you. Vote yes on Initiative 217. Then let's get them steelhead. Randy Travis. Reba McIntyre. Garth Brooks. Country music is hot. It's now the second most listened to music format in America. And it's now your turn to get in on the action at the School of Country Music. If you've got a decent voice, have had a personal tragedy in your life, or just like to drink, then you've got a future in country music. Country songs are special, they're uniquely American, and they're easier than hell to write. Our programs teach you the tricks of the trade. We'll teach you about songwriting, what topics are good, what topics are bad. Good topics to write about include shotguns, drinking, living in the trailer, America, your broken heart, and your broken truck. Bad topics. <laughs> are things like computers, the philosophical problem of reconciling an alleged compassionate God with all the suffering in the world, feminist issues, the teachings of Buddha, and the fun of driving a Japanese car. We'll also teach you how to dress to be a country star. For guys, it's either the clean-cut kid look with tight jeans and a rhinestone jacket, or the outlaw look with big greasy hair and a big tax problem. For gals, there's only one thing to remember. The ratio of hair to body size should be about 10 to 1. Now, if I haven't convinced you that the School of Country Music is someplace special, listen to these two rising stars who've both had hit songs after graduating from our program. Howdy, my name's Darrell, and I used to be a log truck driver in Montesano. One day I drank too much wild turkey, and I stumbled home and found out my old lady had run off with an insurance man. Well, thanks to my training at the School of Country Music, I wrote a song about it called, I Drank Too Much Wild Turkey, Stumbled Home and Found Out My Old Lady had Run Off with an Insurance Man. Howdy, y'all. I'm his ex-wife, Jolene. And thanks to the School of Country Music, I was able to write my own song entitled, I Sick and Tired of That Drunk Loser, so I put myself in the good hands of all states. Yeah, well then I wrote another song titled, I'm gonna hunt down and shoot that city boy some of bitch who stole my wife. And then I wrote one called, Daryl, get a hold of yourself before you go and do something else stupid. Yeah, and then I, I wrote, honey, come home to the man you really love. So I wrote, I won't do it for love, but I'll do it for the hound dog. And then I wrote, Jolene, uh, I got drunk again and wrecked our king cab pickup. So right now, I'm working on a new song called, You Got to Be the Dumbest Thing This Side of a Cow. Oh, you working on that, are you? Well, good for you, because I'm going to start writing one called, Quit Your Bitching and Start Making Dinner. <laughs> Well, I got another one called Take Your Bottle of Jim Beam and Put It Where the Sun Don't Shine. Oh, is that right? Well, I'll leave you Well, there's a great example of the happiness that awaits you in the field of country music. Give us a call before midnight and we'll throw in a free satin jacket and tickets to the Enum Claw Tractor Pull. Y'all call us, all right? Vote yes on Initiative 352. Move the city of Linwood to eastern Washington. These are the benefits. It's cheaper than bulldozing the whole place and starting over. Big hair is still fashionable east of the mountains. And damn it, it's eastern Washington's turn. Initiative 352. It's a good idea.
The Futon Factory Outlet presents Johnny Futon, saving the Northwest from ridiculously high prices. Great price, huh, kid? Just look and compare. At Futon Factory, you can save over $230 on futon frames that equal or exceed our competitors. And right now, we're slashing prices even further during our customer appreciation sale. We'll take an additional $50 off any hardwood frame and futon. Futon Factory Outlet, three stores in the Seattle area to serve you. Tell them Johnny sent you. I started with a push cart in a market down the street and I had with 10 boxes of books and I've been lucky, I've been very lucky. Um, I had one storefront and I moved this way, cut holes in the walls, then I went this way and cut holes in the walls and I've opened three other stores that are partners. So there's four stores all together and they all have cats. I did design the kit store for the cats as well as for, for the books because they, it keeps them happy to have places where they can, to just a level surface, they have different levels they can go to. And they sit up there and watch people like little vultures. It's kind of fun. I've probably sold hundreds and hundreds of thousands of books. And the best part of the job is the um, seeing somebody come in, an 18-year-old saying, I need some poetry. Uh, I need a good novel. And I get them something really good, like 1984 or Yeats, watching the transformation process when they discover a good book and it becomes, the book becomes part of them. I, uh, there's nothing like it. No on initiative 454. Don't raise the Ballard speed limit. Leave it as it is. My rambler used won't go that fast. Paid for by the committee to go slow. Ole, Val, and old Carl. Good evening and welcome to the John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. A study shows that MTV is the most important fashion influence on Seattle kids. In the cities of Centralia and Chehalis, it's hee-haw. <laughs> Boeing says that at last count, they now have a total of 15,284 engineers. A Boeing spokesperson figured that if you laid all of their engineers end-to-end, -end, they'd still be really pretty geeky looking. <laughs> the minister of the Ultimate Life Church in Seattle has asked a judge to dismiss charges that the church is just a front for prostitution. He says that some patrons are just too literal in their interpretation of the church motto, which is, hot sex, 50 bucks. <laughs> A new nationwide survey shows that smoking marijuana is no longer considered fashionable. The survey also shows that Bellingham is the least fashionable city in the nation. <laughs> For the last fiscal year, Costco's profits rose 72%. Analysts say that half of that profit came from selling one giant tub of salsa. <laughs> An investigation has shown that over 10% of Seattle school bus drivers have a history of bad driving or criminal activity. The same study showed that the figure was as high as 71% for Seattle school students. <laughs> Mr. Blackwell was in Seattle this week to promote his new book about the worst fashion fiascos of the past 30 years. After landing at SeaTac and driving through Tukwila, Mr. Blackwell announced that he'll be rushing a revised edition into print. <laughs> Representatives from Israel and Palestine met this week to try to settle their differences. The one thing they finally agreed on is that Seattle Times music critic Patrick McDonald just doesn't have a clue. <laughs> finally, a newspaper report this week said that sexual harassment on the ferries is long-term and widespread. A ferry spokesman called the charges ridiculous, saying, Long-term. Hey, I got long-term for you. Huh? You know what I mean? Long-term? Yeah, in my pants. Huh? Huh? This has been the John Report. Thank you. Well, it's time. The boss is out of town. The powder is calling. Why wait another minute? You're ready to scheme.
and play it again sports, you can trade in to trade up on our huge selection of snowboards and ski equipment at the season's best prices. And enter to win a trip to Bachelor. Five awesome nights with a complimentary lift ticket, lodging, ski, and snowboard packages. We've got free passes to Warren Miller's hottest new film, lift ticket giveaways, and much more. This season's Live the Dream only at your neighborhood Play It Again Sports. We take value to the extreme. Are your children fighting all the time? That's not you, Cole. Do you have a child who doesn't listen? When I say go to bed, I mean go to bed. Could your child do better in school? No, I said I'm not going. I'm too dumb. Then the award-winning parent and child videos are exactly what you need. This breakthrough three-tape series will give you answers to the tough questions. They feature expert advice from Adele Faber and Elaine Mazur, whose best-selling books on parenting have sold millions of copies. Filled with practical and proven strategies, the Parent and Child video series is a must for every household. Order today and take advantage of our no-risk offer and special free bonus. Call toll-free 1-877-57-PARENT. We guarantee that these videos will ease tension, create a climate of respect, and promote school success. Call 1-877-57-PARENT. Reading to Emily is one of our most important parenting skills. But for hundreds of thousands of adults in our state with limited reading skills, this is a joy they don't know. If you can help someone or need help yourself, call this number. Thank you. It's only a piece of paper. But this little card has kept millions of young people off of drugs, out of gangs, and in school. Support the Boys and Girls Clubs. Support Initiative 918 for voluntary death with dignity. It has adequate safeguards. Two doctors must agree that you have less than six months to live. You will be given the choice of death by either painless lethal injection, a job at Boeing, <laughs> tickets to town meeting, lunch with Lou Guzzo, listening to Bill Nye explain gravity, or moving to Bothell. Vote yes on 918. Remember to vote, and hey, Ross Schaefer's at the Improv. Go see him. Bye-bye. Promotional consideration for Almost Live provided by Pizzeria Pagliacci, featuring traditional and gourmet pizza by the show. Pizzeria Pagliacci, rated Seattle's best pizza.